Good morning, good day, and good evening. As you know, as we always say, it does not really matter what time of the day, now the evening that you listen to the On God podcast, Daily Devotions. This is half of your host, which you know as Randy, aka LZ. Let us not waste any more time. Let's get to today's message, which would be um, Proverbs. Um, chapter 28 verses 7 to fourteen, seven to 14 let's read 7 um, it reads as follows young men who are wise ob- obey the law a son who is a member of a lawless gang is a shame to his father Income from exploiting the poor will end up in the hands of someone who pities them. God doesn't listen to the prayers of men who flout the law. A curse on those who lead astray the godly, but men who encourage the upright to do good shall be given a worthwhile reward. Rich men are conceited, but their real poverty is evident to the poor. When the godly are successful, everyone is glad. When the wicked succeed, everyone is sad. A man who refuses to admit his mistakes can never be successful, but if he confesses and forsakes them, he gets another chance. Blessed is the man who reveres God, but the man who doesn't care is headed for serious trouble. Yeah, I want to stick with that um, last verse. The man who reveres God. Um, You need to fear God. You need to fear God. Fear of God is the one thing that keeps you grounded in this world. That keeps you from losing that keeps you from losing yourself from sin and you know arrogance and ego because it's so easy to be egotistical and arrogant because you make it all about yourself so and trust me it is so easy to feel justified when doing the wrong thing I was thinking about this just last night actually the whole night this was bothering me it's funny enough that God gives gives me these scriptures Hitler Hitler was a perfect is a perfect example of someone who feels justified and believes in the cause in which they do no matter how sinful how bad it is like it's one thing murdering a person but something else to murder a whole nation and felt justified doing it Hitler really believed in what he was doing was right and felt that he was doing the world a service and that he wanted to be celebrated for it because he believed him killing Jews black people gays anything that was anything anything that was not um, white people who were First of all, German, um, blue eyes and green eyes. Those are the only people that he felt like, okay, I can let you go. But if you were anything else, Hitler wanted you dead. That's how dangerous um, comfortability without God, because you don't have that sense of wrong. Like, perfect example right the bible says um sex before marriage is a sin so if you have sex enough 
you can have so much sex to the point where you feel it's okay to have sex before marriage you can have sex in the beginning but you'll still have that condemnation that tells you this is what you're doing is wrong the minute that guilt goes away that's when you should really be concerned because it means you've distanced yourself so far from God that now you believe anything is okay and you feel justified so with that being said let us pray um heavenly father thank you for another day of life thank you for your word thank you for your love thank you for your grace um thank you for everything thank you for you thank you for your son jesus who died on the cross for us so that we can repent thank you for grace that you portray because we sin and make mistakes and all that and you still give us another chance and for that we love you and we appreciate you but i pray that we never take you for granted i pray that we always revere you and that we always care about what you think love you all thank you all in jesus name amen Mm -hmm. Thank you.